lessons learned, and uh, in this particular case, we uh, learned a couple lessons. Um, one of them is related to the heat shield. Um, we found on, on a tile a little bit more erosion than we wanted to see, and um, it had to do um, it had to do with obstructions within the heat shield itself, um, where, the, where the spacecraft is, is mounted to the trunk, basically. And um, in that in that particular area, we redesigned the uh, the heat shield tile, and um, and and. Uh, and uh, at this point in time, everything has been tested and is ready to go for the next mission. The other lesson learned was uh, related to how we measure the altitude during the uh, parachute deploy. Um, last time we deployed, we deployed inside the allowable box, absolutely no problem, but just a little bit lower than we expected. And so we improved the barometric um, altitude measurement and um, we improved the cross check with all the other navigation sensors for the next mission. And then, uh, last but not least, uh, we, we closely coordinate uh, between NASA and SpaceX with the U.S. Coast Guard um, to establish a 10-mile keep-out zone for, for any boaters um, to make sure that the recovery is safe and that our crew is safe, the astronauts are safe, and, uh, and the, public, um, the public itself is safe. And so we're going to have more boats um, on the next go-around and, uh, and make sure that the area is really uh, clear of any other, other boats. Um, we already implemented that. Um, we, uh, we are at this point in time reviewing documentation, uh, making sure everything is good to go. We do have a uh, static fire ahead of us and uh, several um, simulations also to keep the, the crew and, uh, and ourselves uh, you know, sharp and uh, good to go. And uh, so um, I'm definitely looking forward uh, to moving into the operational phase with Dragon and uh, having more and more operational flights over the uh, next coming years.